Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course guys, today I'm going to show you to fix the black screen issue on the Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, S10e or other similar devices. Now in case you have the black screen issue, and I'm only demonstrating here guys, is that you'll find that the display of your device will be black. And as I said, I'm only demonstrating. And of course, the display will remain black, totally black. No matter what you do, if you press any keys or tap the screen, the display will not alright guys so when you have the issue your display will remain black no matter what you do if you press any physical buttons or tap the screen or so on the display will remain black and once it's remaining black what's gonna happen is that you cannot get anything out of the display you might actually feel the phone vibrate and of course you might hear the ping of your messages and so on coming in but you will be unable to see anything on the display now in case you're having the issue guys I want you to try the following in order to fix the problem. All right. So the first thing I want you to do, guys, is just hold down power and volume down. So you're going to hold both of them at the same time. So just go ahead and hold. You will not see anything on the display, unlike mine. I'm only demonstrating. So just keep on holding both. So you're just going to keep holding. All right. And do not let go no matter what. And of course, as soon as you see the Samsung logo, it should pop up on screen once again indicating that the device is actually um, working again and in that case the device will power up and the display should work now in case that did not work for you guys another thing you can try is you can get your adapter and once you have your adapter just simply go ahead guys and try the same using the adapter so just simply plug in your usb type c adapter into your samsung galaxy s10 and once you do that just go ahead again make sure it's connected to the laptop and simply hold down power and volume down so just do it again and if it didn't work the first time the second time it should work as you should see the display actually come back on all right and that's the samsung logo right there all right now um in case that doesn't work guys i want you to remove the um usb cable Next, go ahead and remove your micro SD card or your SIM card. So just get your SIM eject tool, eject the SIM from out of its tray. And once you remove that, guys, just keep it out for the time being and simply repeat the process that you saw a while ago. If it didn't work, just leave it out. Do not place it back in. The next thing I want to try, guys, after this is simply you're going to hold down while the device is blocked. Simply hold down um, power. And then you're going to hold volume down. So simply use your thumb. Rest it over the power button. That's the ridge or the arch, the mid section of your finger there. Hold it on the Bixby key, not power, sorry. And then you're going to hold um, volume down. And you're going to simply hold. Make sure your USB cable is connected to your computer. So hold both, dev uh, both buttons. That's volume down plus Bixby key. Simply wait right here. It's going to connect right there. And then you're just going to go ahead and plug in. If done right, you should see your device um, come on and then you should be in what's download mode and it will ask you to use volume up to um, continue or down to restart. From there, you can actually hit down to restart and the device will reboot and come back to the main screen and the display should start working. All right, guys. So the as you might have known, the black screen issue is a very common problem facing many Samsung devices especially the newer Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and so on. And with those tips, you should be able to fix the issue. All right, guys, we've got a guy from Black Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.